Hello folks and welcome back to the Elusive Lens channel. I'm really happy you guys decided to join me for this episode. Um, I'm very excited to dive into what we have for you today. But uh, before I uh, go any further, I'd like to uh, kind of make a note of what I've been uh, for the past six months I've been shooting with. You may have noticed in uh, some of my videos that um, I use a Canon M6 Mark II. It is a crop sensor effect, uh, mirrorless camera from Canon. Um, it's a nice little camera. I've actually um, outfitted it with a custom uh, grip, battery grip from a European outfit called Custom Battery Grips or CBG. And they make uh, battery grips for um, M50, um, M6 Mark II. They, I believe, came out with uh, battery grips for uh, the R series of the mirrorless Canon cameras and uh, I will put a link below so you can uh, check them out. This is not a sponsored video but I just love the product um, and the reason of course for using a battery grip is to extend uh, the, the life of your shooting session or the, the, the time of your shooting, se shooting session um, and I, I could not be happier with uh, this product. Uh, these guys did an amazing job. Um, of course, I use uh, rechargeable batteries that I have uh, several sets on uh, in my camera bag when I'm out and about shooting. The changing of the batteries is super easy. As you may know, of course, this mirrorless camera is a crop sensor uh, camera. It's not full frame. And uh, I use um, all manual lenses, therefore I had to adapt it um, uh, by using a, a speed booster. It's not just an adapter, I actually decided to put a speed booster. So this was um, a lucky find for me, the EM uh, mount to FD mount. And it works flawlessly, you know, you basically uh, mount the adapter just like you would mount an M uh, mount lens to the camera and then uh, you lock your adapter to the lens uh, and off you go shooting. So, and of course, to put the speed booster on, which has a, its own multiplication factor of 0 0.71, that brings uh, the field of view of a crop sensor camera uh, closer to what you would have a mirrorless camera. So here's a quick diagram showing the size of the uh, full frame sensor compared to uh, this um, sensor now with a... Um, it doesn't change the size of the sensor but the field of view changes uh, quite a bit and so this is what it looks like when uh, you put that speed booster on. I've been shooting with this, like I said, for the past maybe six months or more. And uh, I, I love the setup. Um, being at 33 megapixels, uh, you get to crop a little bit uh, if you want without losing that resolution and all that. Um, but, you know, um, I decided to, uh, and I came on a great deal on an older camera and a full frame camera. So I thought I'd give it a try. And uh, I may take out the same setup, the same uh, setup with Canon M6 Mark II uh, with a speed booster and the manual lenses, manual focus, all of that, right? And uh, compare it to the camera that I just picked up. Uh, so what we have here today is um, a camera I picked up from uh, KH, and again, this is not a sponsored video uh, by KH, but uh, I love their website. I love uh, uh, the deals I've, I have found uh, uh, on that site. Uh, the folks are really helpful. Um, just as uh, the CBG, the Custom Battery Grips, is not a sponsored video, I uh, just wanted to give them a shout out, uh, let you know that. Uh, they're awesome and they're worth uh, checking out. I hope you uh, follow that link and maybe even uh, give a shout out to the site of where you came across and heard about their product. 
So today, great packaging as always. Uh, all of the products that I've ever received from KEH. All right. And let's see what we got here. All right, so in this package today, we got a full frame Alder Cannon that uh, became almost a uh, staple uh, for many years of professional photography, whether it was landscape, um, or portrait photography. So there's your charger and uh, a battery. Pretty cool. With the camera we have today, is a bargain deal from uh, KH. And I have to tell you, being a bargain, every bargain item I've ever bought from them is an absolutely incredible shape. Uh, there's a little bit of paint wear out wear, but uh, that's only to be expected. So this is Canon uh, 5D Mark II. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Um, everywhere that I have seen uh, people providing feedback on these cameras comparing to 5D Mark III, 5D Mark IV, or even the R series and 6D cameras. Um, the quality of the images, the, the color uh, gradients, and uh, um, maybe even some of the usability, it was just outstanding. So I thought I'd give it a try. Um, so here's the 5D Mark II from Canon. Can't wait to uh, take this out in the field. On top of that, we will outfit this baby with A battery grip, performance battery grip from Polaroid. Also an older uh, battery grip, but from what I've seen um, and uh, just watched and read the reviews, uh, people are extremely happy with this and uh, some reviews were even giving better feedback and uh, um, better rating than the ones you would get from Canon the Canon battery grips for this model. So pretty excited. All right, so you gotta pop this door, slide the door right into your battery grip just like this. Slap the battery grip onto the camera, tighten it up. There's a little side drop down door. The tray comes out. You can have uh, your rechargeable batteries if you want to, instead of regular uh, LP or LE6, whichever ones they are. And what else we got here? Ha! Huh. It's a battery pack. It is a uh, two-set battery pack that should fit right into our tray it goes inside and they, these are generic these are actually not Canon but um, they are for Canon LP E6 and H and these are 2950 milliamps so they're almost double the size of a regular Canon this Canon is uh, 1865 milliamps so we're getting eh, not quite the double but um, all right, popping those in, locks in. 
There you go. And oh, Canon remote. So this guy is a Canon remote, an actual uh, manufacturer's remote that should work with <coughs> Canon 5D Mark II. There we go. Now, one thing I do like about the newer cameras, and I believe the Mark 5D Mark III and up, uh, they made it possible to wirelessly connect to your camera, so you can do uh, remote control, you can view pictures, you can uh, do quite a bit with that uh, feature. But on the older uh, cameras like this, you you're sacrificing um, some of the uh, features, I suppose, um, and uh, um, at the expense of maybe uh, convenience, hopefully the quality and uh, uh, the just the cinematic look that the older camera may give you uh, will make up for uh, what you may be losing in like your Wi-Fi or um, just a smaller size even that the mirrorless cameras afford. Anyhow, so I'm, we'll try that out in the field, see how that works. The last thing that we have here today is DigiGear Ultimate Compact Flash Card Adapter. And of course, uh, we are going to try to adapt an SD card um, without having to rely on the Compact Flash C CF uh, cards just because those be are becoming now uh, outdated and um, this is it this is the unpacking this is the new gear that I will try to be shooting with this camera is um, EF mount and I will be using all manual lenses like I said um, I ended up grabbing this EF to FD adapter There we go, and we are in business. So anyway, um, I'm uh, I'm gonna take it out, take a couple of shots, uh, compare that to what I usually get from my uh, M6 Mark II, and um, we'll go from there. Thanks again. We'll catch you down the road. Bye.